Hi everyone, welcome to week four of English class. This week we focused on forming negative sentences. So how to say, I do not like, eu não tenho, I don't have. Um, how to express that you don't have something or you don't like something or you don't want to do something. Next, we learned a new verb, to be able, or usually we say can. This is poder in Portuguese. And finally, we practiced asking questions in English, all the different ways you can start a question. We practiced a little bit more using the verb to in different contexts. So first, this is some extra practice on what we did last week, do and make. So if you want to pause, this is some extra practice. All right, and for the answers, number one, I do not want to do the laundry. Number two, I like to do the dishes. Number three, my sister hopes she does. So in this case, it is a little different. We add because we have she. Whenever we have he or she, the verb becomes does. Number four, my sister likes to do her makeup every day. Number five, we do exercise by walking at the park. Number six, you need to make. Need, remember, means precisa. All right, number seven, will it make a difference if I study? So make a difference is an expression that we use. Number eight, can you make a phone call to the doctor? And finally, I make the most money when I work on the weekends at the restaurant because it is busy. So make money, making phone calls, making a difference, making a list. These are all expressions. With do, do the laundry, do the dishes, doing a good job, doing exercise. So with do and make, it can be a little complicated because there are not many rules. No hay muchas regras but we can practice. All right. Next, we learned about negative sentences. And so think about this picture. How would you describe it? O que você diria sobre esse, about this photo? What would you say? So together we said, maybe you would say, Maybe you would say, she no like the vegetables, because that is pretty similar to Portuguese. But in English, we cannot say this. It does not make sense. No fuss and chew. Okay? Instead, we have to add do. Okay? And we change no to not. So it always looks like this, sempre. But we need to practice. So if we want to say a negative sentence, such as, I do not want, I do not like, eu não quero, eu não gosto, right? We change it to do not. Both parts are essential. We need them. Precisamos. We need them. All right? So we will practice. So to like, positive, normal. I like vegetables and we can practice together. You like, he or she likes, we like, they, you all like. All right, this is positive, normal. Now negative, we are going to say do not like. All three parts are essential, we need them. You do not like. He or she, what do you think? It will be he or she does not like. We do not like, and they or you all do not like, okay? And on the next example, the same thing, to have. I have books, you have books, he or she has books, we have books, and they and you all have books. So for the negative, let's practice. I do not have books. You do not have 
So instead of saying, I no have books, we will not say this. We will say, I do not. That is correct. All right, so we can practice. He or she does not have. We do not have. They, you all do not have. So some conversation practice that we did in class. Number one, do you like reading books? Number two, do you go to work every day? Number three, what food do you not like to make? So pause and practice, right? or speak, pode escrever ou falar. What you think is the answer. Okay, so for the first one, do you like reading books? It could be, pode ser, yes, I do like books, or I like books, both are okay. For no, you say, no, I do not like reading. Eu não gosto de ler. I do not like reading. All right. For the second one, yes, I go to work every day. Todos os dias, I go to work. Or no, I do not go to work. I do not go. And lastly, what food do you not like to make? You can say, I do not like to make. In our class, someone said, um, rice, I do not like to make rice. Or maybe I do not like to make um, pizza. It is not healthy. Or maybe something is very messy. It takes a long time to clean up or a long time to prepare. I do not like to make. Okay, good. This is a reading that we practice. So if you want some extra practice, you can read this. I will read it together. You can pause and repeat. It is my first time visiting the doctor. I am pregnant and I need to check on my baby's health. I do not know what to expect, but I am happy to visit the doctor. She tells me I do not need to worry Everything is okay. The doctor tells me I do not need to wait if I want to know the gender of my baby. She can tell me today. It is not a boy, it's a girl. I'm so excited to meet my daughter. I'm happy it is not going to be a surprise. I cannot wait to be a mom. So in this paragraph, we practice identifying where we saw not. So pause and try to find all of the examples of do not. Okay, so here, I do not know. All right, I do not need to worry. I do not need to wait. It is not a boy. It is not going to be a surprise. And I cannot wait. So these are all examples of where you might see the word not and do not in sentences. So practice when you are reading in English or watching or listening to TV. Where do you hear the word not? These are also common expressions. I don't know, or I do not know. No sé, no no sé. That's an important one. I, or someone says, don't worry. No se preocupa, don't worry. I can't wait. No posso esperar. I cannot wait. All right, these are really good expressions in English. Okay, and just a reminder, when we have an apostrophe, it just means that we have two words in English, we make one. So it makes words shorter. Cannot, no boss becomes can't. Or don't is um, 
I don't know in this example translates to no conheço. I don't know, but it is do not. Okay. Next, some more practice. What do you want to do today? And what do you not want to do? So go ahead, practice, write out some example sentences. Okay, so some examples. Today, I want to visit the park. I want to walk. I want to sleep. These are all examples of things that we want to do today. Today is hoje, today. What do you not want to do? I do not want to maybe cook. I'm tired. I do not want to do work. I do not want to get out of bed. I do not want to leave my bed. So we are practicing with this construction. Do not. And a verb. Okay, good. Next, we are learning a new verb. This verb literally translates to to be able, which in Portuguese is um, ser capaz, to be able or capable. But in English, you will always hear can. So I can, you can, he or she can. Notice we do not have an S. No precisamos com Messi. This verb is a little irregular, it's different. So it is good. Can, we can, they can. Everything is the same. This just means pode. I can, you can, he or she can, we can, they all can. This is a great important word. And some examples, I can read, they can run, you can study with flashcards, we can practice more. He can go to the store after work. All right. And finally, we are practicing asking questions in English. So questions always start with one of these words. What, when, who, where, why, how, and which. These are the question words. We learned about them. These are questions we can ask. The second way, well, these questions give you answers that are open-ended. This means that they have many possibilities for the answer. It can be a person, it can be a place. It is open-ended, okay? Then we have other questions. Yes or no questions. So the answer will be yes or no. Am, is, are, which belong to the verb to be, right? And can, which is poder, okay? And finally, the last way, which we will talk more about, is do and does. So we will look at some examples. Number one. Our W words, who, what, where, when, why, which, how. And we can think of some examples. For example, who is in class today? Where is the supermarket? Why is, why, why did you say that? Por que você disse isso? How do I cook? this food, okay? These will have longer answers. A resposta vai ser mais, um, vai ser mais. They're going to be more, longer, okay? Who is in class? Where is the supermarket? Why did you say that? How do I cook this food, okay? Next, we have questions that start with are, am, is, or can. These come from the verb to be, and to be able or can. And these sentences need to begin with a verb. So we move the verb to the beginning. For example, si a resposta é, it is raining. The question is, is 
it's raining. We take is the verb and move it to the front. And so these questions are very simple. It is yes or no. We do not say why is it raining or where is it raining or when is it raining? We are simply asking, is it raining? Okay. I have four devices, do you know? It is or isn't. So when we ask a simple yes or no question, we take the verb and we put it in the front. Is it raining? So some more examples. Is it sunny? The pasta is cooking. We change it to, is the pasta cooking? So this is important, right? Because in Portuguese, the order does not change. No muda. Porque pode ser, the pasta está cozinhando. Or you can also say, the pasta está cozinhando, como uma pergunta. But in English, this change is very important. You cannot say, the pasta is cooking. You can, pode ser. Mas it's very common to do this. Is the pasta cooking? So we move to the front. We need to start with the verb. Then other examples. So we can say, can the girl sing? Can you read? Can he go after work? Can he go to the store after work? Other examples. So we saw is, is it important to go? We can also say are. We use are when we talk about multiple things. So are the boys happy? Por que no estamos muito? The boys. Are the boys. Because in a response, we would say yes. The boys are happy. Not the boys is happy. No, the boys are happy. Okay, good. So this is a second type of question. Oh, here's some more practice first. So we take the response, and we are going to form the question. For example, they can run becomes can they run. We move the verb to the front. So pause and practice. All right, number two, can you study with flashcards? Can we practice more in class? Can he go to the store after work? Can I do my work? Is it important to do work? Are you happy to be in class? Are we at school? And are they angry? These are all good practice, and each of these has a yes or no answer. Yes, I can do my work. Yes, it is important to do work. Yes, we are at school. No, they are not angry. No, they are not at school. So lastly, we are going to practice more with the verb do and does. We know do comes from the verb fazer, but in English, we use the verb do and does a lot. And one of the examples is here. When we have any other verb, so before we use ser y poder, y está. What happens when we have different verbs? For example, she plays soccer. How do you say ela joga football? How does she play, or does she play soccer? How do we say this? In English, we use the verb does and do in front of the verb. So we keep everything the same and we just add do or does in the front. So here we have she, so it becomes does. But usually we say do. And this is how we ask questions. And so still, Aila, they have yes and no as answers. Does she play soccer? Yes, she does. No, she does not. So some more practice. You like picanha. Do you like picanha? So we don't really say, you like picanha? Sometimes, but normally we will say, do you like picanha? Okay. 
do we go to English class? So because again, we have verbs like go and like and do, we need do in the front. Okay. So now we are going to practice with everything. We know that questions always start with one of these words, what, when, who, where, why, how, am, is, are, and can, and do and does. So we are going to practice. So we are going to think about, oops. we are going to think about picanha, okay? So let's take a minute and think about all the questions you can make about picanha. Pause and I will give some examples. Okay, so first, some examples. What is picanha? When is it ready? When is the picanha ready? Oh, pronto. When is the picanha ready? Who makes the picanha? King Paz, who makes it? Where is the picanha? Or how do you cook it? All right, so all of these are examples of questions we can ask, and they all have big answers. For example, oh, milk pie, milk pie fish, my dad made it. Or a picanha is sala, the picanha is over there. They have long answers. These are all questions. Next. Let's practice starting with are, is, am, and can. So for example, can I have the picanha? Posso ter, can I have? Or is the picanha ready? Está pronto, is it ready? Is the picanha ready? Um, and then am and are we usually use for I am and they are, or we are. So in this case, we are talking about picanha, which is it or he and she. So we will really only use is. It is ready. The picanha is ready. And finally, do or does. So some examples of questions that start with do and does could be, do you like picanha? Do you cook picanha? Okay, so do will be do you, do we, do they, do they have picanha already? Já tem, do they already have it? And does we use for he or she? So does he like the picanha? And it can also be about the picanha. Does the picanha look ready? Parece pronto. Does the picanha look ready? So these are all examples of questions we can ask using these different starters, but sentences in English will always start with one of these words. All right, so the last activity, we watch the video and I ask everyone to think about one question. So we can watch this video again together and while you watch, in quanto você assiste, think about questions that you have. Pergunta por que está acontecendo? Okay, who's here? Okay, so watch the video and write, escreve, pergunta que você tem. And try, tenta usar uma dessas palavras. Try to use one of these words. Okay, I will play the video, put the questions up. It is a very sweet video. Why don't you stop playing and open the present I got for you? 
for me? Hello? Oh, yes, sir. I don't know why you didn't get the papers. So, for example, some questions that we had in class. Why did she get him a gift? Or what is the gift? What does he have? Or where are they? Or who is this boy? So these are the kinds of questions we want to think about. Queremos pensar. Okay. Whoa! Cool! She's got to be kidding me. So, very special, happy video, but thinking about questions we have, like I said, where are they? Or who is the boy? Or what is the present? We know it is a dog. What else? Thinking about all the questions we could have. How does the boy feel? What is the dog's name? So many questions, but I just wanted everyone to practice watching and thinking about forming questions for Ian. Is the dog is the dog happy? Or can the dog play? Does the boy like the dog? These are all good examples, okay? And that is all. So we practice. So we just practice some different ways to form questions and um, that is what we did this week. Negative sentences, practicing and learning a new verb, poder or can, to be able. So thank you, everyone. See you next week.